Remember what I said, and I started the process informally, right, just so you could see the logic in my head. I said, look, I want all the z squared terms because only those terms will give me the pairs of cosines that I'm after in this actual result. Okay, that's what's going to do it for me. Okay, now this, this is only two of them. There are a bunch more, and it's not hard to just go through logically and find them. I, I've already got a couple. Let me now do it properly. Okay, so what I've got here is I'm going to write down all the terms, write down all z squared terms. That's, that's the logic that I'm applying here. Okay, now on the left hand side, writing down the z squared terms is really easy. You write down zero. Okay, there are all the z squared terms on the left, but then I take the very same object on the right and it does have z squared terms. So let's write them all down. This time I'm going to be a little more logical about it rather than just picking them out at random. I'm going to try and do it left to right in some order so that I don't miss any because that's going to be kind of important, right? So in fact, even though I picked out these because they're the ones I want, the first z squared term has no cosines in it at all. Do you see it? There's a z squared right there. Right? If you multiply it by this one and this one, you'll get z squared. So there you go, there's a z squared term. There's my first one. Okay. Then I say, okay, well, where can I get my next one? Well, I can't use this z squared term anymore. I've already got the single time that it will give me a z squared term. Because if I multiply it by anything else, for instance, if I multiply this one by this one, I'm z to the 4. I'm out. Okay. If I multiply this by, say, this, I'll get z cubed. And again, I'm out. Okay, so this guy is not useful to me anymore. Okay, does that make sense? But then I move on to the next one. And this one, I'll do the red pairing. That's in fact the first one that I see. So I've got plus 4z squared cos the first angle cos the second angle. There you go. There's a second z squared term I see. Yes? Can't we also, oh, like we can do the red one and then the one in the second term and then the black one. Yeah, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished. Okay, so you remember how I said the z squared term there, it's finished. I can only use it the once. But this guy here, the red one, I can use him again. I don't have to pair him with him. I can pair him with this guy. That'll give me a z squared term, right? So what I'm going to get is, watch out, there's um, uh, still a plus 4z squared out the front. Okay, But this time it's the first angle and the last angle. You okay with that? Okay, now again, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Is there anything else I can pair up this guy with? No. I'm done, right? I pair up with him, pair up with him, I'm finished. He's useless to me now, okay? All right, now I have a look at this guy. Can I use him? Yes. I can, right? I can pair him up with him and him. That'll give me a z squared. Right? That's good. Can I still use that one term at the front? Yes, I can. I paired him up with this z squared and this one, right? But I can pair him up with this one and this z squared, and I'll still get a z squared term, right? Oh, yeah. So I get another one, okay? All right, can I use this term anymore? Yes. Nope. He's done. Yes. You can still use that one more time. Oh yes, you're right. No, I, I, I have, I have, I've used up my z squares over there, okay? But I haven't used up these two guys, okay? So I get, what am I getting? 4z, cos, Squared. Four squared. squared. Four pi nine, eight pi nine. That's the second and third angles. Okay? There's always a double negative happening. Okay? So now I've exhausted that one. Okay? Can I use this guy? I've used him. Can I use this guy? I've used him twice. Uh, here and here. He's done. Can I use him? I've actually used all of them. I've done them all. You can just go off and you can check. Okay? So now I have the left-hand side, I've got the right-hand side. I can say by comparison of coefficients. Okay, no more z squared terms. Uh, I just want the coefficients of the z squareds. So I've got zero here. How many z squareds do I have by themselves? Three. The answer is three of them. One, two, three. Three. And then I've got these other guys here. Uh, let's see here. So I've got the 4 cos 2 pi on 9 cos 4 pi on 9. Right? You see I've got four of them. I've also got four of this one. 8 pi on 9. And I've got four of this one. You okay with that? Now I'm almost there. I only have to do a couple of things, don't I, right? Oh, do you just put now, Z at the end? Okay, um, no, no, I have no more Zs. 
All of these are Z squared terms. I haven't divided, I haven't divided. I'm comparing the coefficients. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I, I can actually divide through, but that's not really what I'm doing. This is what I'm really doing. Okay. Um, so then, how do I get here? From here. Okay. Well, firstly, I don't want that 3 over there. Um, I'm going to write him as an equals negative 3. Okay. And then the rest of it, there's a common factor of 4 for all of them. 4. And then I've got all these guys, except I don't want the 8 pi on 9, do I? I um, I'm getting pi on 9 here, which corresponds to the negative, and the pi on, uh, pi on 9 here, which corresponds oh to the negative. Do you see it? Yeah. So now I can write, here is the first pair of angles. Take away the second pair. Take away the last one. And now to get the result that I'm after, I just divide by 4. Oh and that gives God. you negative three quarters. Now, just to say, because you can, right? In a pinch, running out of time, if this question said hence or otherwise, you could get out your handy little friend here and be, like, and be very, very patient and careful with your brackets and put that thing in and it will dutifully tell you minus 0 0.75, because it is, okay? However, on this question, if that was the exact wording and you did that, you'd get a big fat zero because you haven't used any of the results. So the answer is minus three quarters.